Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can make two div or multiple div side by side. So let's go and first of all, let's make two div over here. Let me just say over here div and in this div, we are going to have a image and a text. So for the image, we are going to use the image tag and the source will be this on image on dot png. So we are going to show over here image on dot png and let's just give a text over here let's say h4 and in this h4 we're going to paste some random text and after this uh let me just copy this div again Control c and we're going to paste it over here and here we are going to change the image name from image on to image 2 so right now if we save it then if we just open it in the browser there you can see we have the image over here okay let me just fix the image height and width so let's just say one here with for the image it will be 400 so let me just copy this and i'll paste it over here as well save it again then refresh and there you go so we can see the image but they are not side by side so we're going to make it side by side so for it what you need to do is that in this tip we're going to mention a class let's say the class name will be side underscore front and let me just copy this class name and I'm going to paste it for this div as well. So right now we're going to write some CSS in order to make the div side by side. So let's go inside the head section. So here we're going to show what here style tag. Then in this style tag, we're going to say dot side underscore float. Since this is a class to second bracket. Okay. This will be dot. And here we're going to say display. It will be inline blog it means we are saying that we want to uh, show that div in a single line and we will also say over here float it will be left it means uh, just show the div from the left side so right now if we just say then if we now refresh over here there you can see they are side by side so here we can also increase the div width uh, for example we can just show over here with uh, it will be 50% and if we now save okay let's also say over here text align it will be center so right now save then refresh and there you can see so here we can have multiple div over here so for it how to do is that let's go back and right now let me just copy this div again and if we now paste it over here then save it then refresh and there you go the third div is over here if you want it uh, like side by side what you can do is that a shop with 50 percent we can say over here 30 percent save then refresh here and there you go and there you can see that div is not in the middle so in order to make it middle what you can do is that just before this div we're going to mention another div over here the div will start from here and this div will end over here so for this div, let's go and mention a class. Let's the class name will be parent. Then we'll go inside the style section. We'll show our here parent. Then to second bracket. And here we're going to say, let's say we'll also mention a width for it. So let's show our here width. It will be 80%. Then we're going to say here margin. It will be auto. So margin will make it in the center. Make every div inside this div in the center okay so right now you press and there you can see it is in the center so what we can do right now is that we can add some padding over here so that there is some gap so in order to add the padding we can just say over here padding it will be 20 px save it then refresh and there you can see there is now some gap over here and if you give too much padding then the uh, let's say the last image will be over here. Let me just show you. If I just show it here, if we just show it here on 100, then save. Then if we now refresh, there you can see the third image is over here. So it will also depend on the how much padding uh, you can give. Okay. So let me just refresh over here with 20 px padding, and there you go. So this is how you can make your div side by side using only HTML and CSS. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. If you have any question or any problem, just let me know in the comment section. You can also suggest me what kind of video I should make. 
thanks in for watching and i hope to see you in the future tutorials